Sonic the Hedgehog is a franchise that I held close to my heart when I was a kid. I remember the first game I ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog. I watched the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog with my brother and watched the Sonic the Hedgehog animated series which had the Freedom Fighters. Needless to say, I was a Sonic fan. So when I heard back in 2019 or 2020 that the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was coming out, the kid in me was cheering. Then I saw the first Sonic design and it killed me. Like literally, it, like literally my brother had to say, <laughs> Kevin literally I had to hold me in the chest and says, you good? And I was like, no. I was, the first design haunted my dreams. But thankfully they changed the design. I will tell you this, this, I will tell you this guys. The movie when I first watched it was amazing. I felt like a kid again watching the movie. And even my dad and my brother, who weren't even big Sonic fans like me, liked the movie. So when I heard that the Sonic, there's another movie coming out, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, next month. I'm so ready. So with the announcement of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is coming out next month, like I said, and already plans of the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and a Knuckles spinoff series already confirming to be happening next year, and I guess after watching every movie of the MCU, like my math teacher, true story, I had a little thinky think. What if I make a video where I showed how I would book the Sonic Cinematic Universe, or the SCU? Honestly, thinking about it just makes me smile for some reason. So I figure, why not? So before we get to the booking, I want to say some things. Number one, if you, if you guys enjoy this concept, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I am actually, this is actually a series that maybe I will start liking, but I want to know if you guys enjoy the concept. Alright, so I need to know if you guys would bear with me as I make videos on how I would book the Sonic Cinematic Universe. So like I said, like the video, maybe, yeah. Like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that way you'll never miss another video if I do plan on making another one. And, let's go over some rules, alright? Let's go over some rules. Rule number one, we're only using the video game characters. That means no comic characters such as the Archie comics. Okay? The thing about this is before we make the universe, we need... It's important to know that the the movie, the you know, I think I saw I saw it there somewhere online that the Sonic movie, like the Sonic franchise, is basically basing around the video games. So as much as I want to bring in Sally and the Freedom Fighters, Scourge the Hedgehog, and literally any Archie character that has a fan, that has a fan base. Unfortunately, I can't do that for the same reasons that. In real life, Sega can't use the characters because of one man. And if you know who I'm talking about, good. And if you don't, good, good, because you just save yourself from knowing the most hated person ever. And I got lots to say about that man. But yeah, so we won't be seeing characters from the comics making their way to the movie. It sucks, but it's unfortunately where we're going to be sitting. We're, that's where we're sitting right now. Rule number two. We are, I mean, rule number two. TV series, also known as a little bit of a, a little side series, the Sonic Connected Universe. While we're discussing about how I would book the movies, we're also be going to be tackling the Plus series. Since there is going to be a Knuckles spinoff series, one, I doubt it's just going to be only one. Come on guys, I doubt it's going to be only one. You think the MCU is just only posting out one Disney Plus series? No, we had WandaVision. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, What If, and there's so much more, I, I can go on. So yeah, I doubt there's going to be more, just only one Knuckles series, so let's just make it clear and say that I will make it clear when I'm tackling the movies and the TV shows. Who knows, I might make a separate part like saying, oh, we're at, two, we're at part two? Alright, uh, how about for the Sonic Connected Universe, I'm going to put 2.5 before we get to part 3. 
Maybe like that. And rule number three, how it will be booked. Now, this is kind of obvious, but this is, but as the series suggests, this is how I would book the SCU. So I might make decisions that might not sit right to some of you. I need you guys to understand this is how I would book it. If you have different ways of doing it, by all means, make your own SCU. Make your own Sonic Cinematic Universe. I would love to see it. Okay, really, I'll even make a video reacting to it and all that. But keep in mind, this is how I would make the move. Okay, just keep in mind if I do make a decision that doesn't sit right for you guys. So with those rules in place, sit back, relax. Let me try. So first, let's get the first thing out of the way. The first movie to kickstart the whole thing in motion. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we don't need to change anything about the movie. I like how it built up Sonic and Donut Lord's relationship. Eggman was great. Everything in the first movie was great because it just happened. It, it was all great. Like, it was just a fun, quirky adventure with a Sonic, with a, a video game mascot coming into our world. And because Tails at the end credit scenes to feed us to feed us Sonic fans for the possible movie too that we're now getting this April. So I say let's leave movie one the way it is. Honestly, there's not really a complaint of why. There's no really a reason to change anything from movie one. It just It just did its job and you know, in the end of the day, we gotta remember that technically if it didn't got any popular, it would just be a quirky adventure. But because of the end credits with move, with Tails coming into our world looking for Sonic, it just already opened the gates for a for a Sonic cinematic universe. So yeah, let's just leave it the way it is. All right, we'll just leave it the way it is. And now this video will now be turning into a prediction video as I try to figure out how. Sorry about that. As I try to figure out how movie two will play out this April. Okay. Uh, how can I put this movie on the big screen? Simple. In this movie, I think the main sort of plot hole that we're going this 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 big um, character arc for Sonic. It's Sonic growing up. By the end of this movie, Sonic will will transform as the hero Green Hill Zone. Sonic will just Sonic will evolve from the hero of Green Hill, Montana to being the hero of the world as we always know he is in the games. Now why did I say Sonic will grow up in movie two? Well, think about this. In movie one the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie Sonic's only motive in that movie was to get the rings and survive. I mean, really think about it. If he hadn't made a connection with Tom, his only goal was to survive and go to the Mushroom Planet with the power of the Warp Rings. But because he did make the connection with Mr. Donut Lord, his goal changed from leaving Earth for his survival but staying on Earth and saving the people in that little town. It's also evident in the trailers that Sonic's trying to pull up a hero name. Sonic in the trailers is trying to be the hero in the darkness like Batman. Sonic's literally trying to be known as Blue Justice. Plus you planning. So here I think movie 2 is going to play out. Sonic is trying to make a name for himself. He's experimenting out there to be the hero he knows he can be. Dubbing himself Blue Justice. However, let's just put it Sonic's more put more harm than help based on the trailers. Sonic's main flaw is that he thinks playing hero is some sort of game, so by Tom's words, Tom will take some Sonic will take Tom's words to heart. Meanwhile, Sonic will be making a new bond with Tails, who is here in search for him. Now we don't know why Tails arrived in the world of in our world for Sonic at the end of the first movie. Like what reason does Tails have a reason to search for Sonic? 
Well, I think it would be kind of funny if Tails was trying to tell Sonic why he's here, only for Sonic to stop him with his cheeky personality. Make it the running gag for movie two. You know, give... Put suspense on how is Tails here? Why, why is he here? And when we're trying to figure it out, Sonic just... You know, Sonic just blocks him from even saying anything. And we have to wait for the end of the movie to figure out why Tails is here for Sonic. Which is kind of funny if you ask me. That would honestly happen. Also in this movie, Eggman is back and Agent Stone is back on his side. Which, I'll be honest with you guys, I like Eggman and Agent Stone's back and forth segments. They're great. And Knuckles is coming into movie... And Knuckles is coming at movie two as well. So with Knuckles being the movie, we might see a side of Sonic that we haven't seen before. And what I mean by that is simple. When Sonic meets up with Knuckles, he's going to have flashbacks about Longclaw and his final moment seeing her, which is her sacrificing herself for him from the echidnas from the beginning of, movie, of the first movie. So I can already see movie Sonic and movie Knuckles having that Tony Stark and Winter Soldier relationship from the MCU. I mean, technically speaking, that's a big that's a big nail in the coffin right there. Sonic is essentially Tony Stark and Knuckles is well, we don't know. Knuckles may or may not be the person. He may not be involved of what happened in the mo- in the beginning moments of movie one so we don't know if he did he was involved against the long claw attack i mean attacking long claw or maybe he was just as young as sonic we don't know but we do know is knuckles is technically the knuckles is technically the last remnants of his kind and sonic well i'm pretty sure sonic is not going to sit right with you know knuckles being similar to the ones who basically took him away from his Suppose, suppose mother. So, yeah. So basically, Sonic will be growing up to be the hero we know him as, as well as Sonic and Tails' relationship will be developing. You know, it would be, and also maybe if you want to add a little bit more fan service, maybe showing us a flashback of Baby Sonic meeting a Baby Tails. That would kind of be nice. I mean, I can already imagine the. I can already imagine many people will react to Baby Tails like how they react to a Baby Yoda during back to back then to Mel- the Mandalorian's first couple days. I would like to see that. Knuckles and Sonic will be throwing hands, and by the end of the movie, I think many things will happen. One thing will be Knuckles is going to be it's going to be revealed that Knuckles, I mean Eggman, is just using Knuckles just like he did in the games. Saying Sonic is here for the Master Emerald, or maybe he's fighting Sonic. Maybe Eggman will just say he was fighting a blue hedgehog and Knuckles just felt like he must finish his people's work. And I will explain more about why I think Knuckles is after Sonic in a future video. So if you guys want to know about that, well then you're going to have to show me that you guys love this series. And, you know, we'll see maybe during Knuckles and Sonic's fight, Eggman will take the Master Emerald. And, you know, that causes Knuckles to reluctantly help Sonic. With Sonic having to bear with it because, you know, he's teaming up with someone who, you know, again, may or may not be responsible for Longclaw's supposed death. We might also see Sonic fighting the, the Egg Robot, saving the day, and... You know, I kind of expect not only the Master Emerald to be making its debut in movie 2, but also the Chaos Emeralds to make their debut as well. So we can see Super Sonic in the movie. And I know, I know that ma- that makes no sense. Why put Super Sonic so early on in this, in this cinematic universe? Well... It kind of happened in movie two. I mean, it kind of happened in the game. So it's like, um, it just fits there. And plus, if we're dealing with Chaos Emeralds already, why not? I mean, if heck, if the Chaos Emeralds are not going to be in the movie, I mean, surely Sonic can transform 
into Supersonic with the Master Emerald. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, yeah. I do believe this movie will conclude with Knuckles will be departing from the group. But Sonic and Knuckles will not come out to be mo friends in the movie. Sonic isn't ready to make friends with Knuckles. And Knuckles is not interested. I don't know. Maybe we'll say, maybe have Knuckles saying, Next time we meet, we will battle under my terms, Hedgehog. Knuckles leaves and Sonic and Tails reunite with Tom and Pretzel Lady. This could mean Tails could live with them. Could live with Donut Lord and Pretzel Lady. You know, would be nice. Would be nice, but... After so long in this movie of Tails being tossed aside, Tails finally gets to tell Sonic why he is here. And the reason why Tails is here is to inform Sonic that they found another hedgehog. And that's where we're going to leave it up. Where that's, that's where we're going to be leaving up this video. I know, I know. It was just finally about to get good as, well, now in movie 3, we're going to be talking about hedgehogs. But so far of this making of the, but so far, I want to make sure, you know, this is the groundworks, okay? I can't just showcase all of it. I can't showcase all of it right now because movie 2, we already know what the basics of, but we don't know what movie 3 will be like in real life. So again, if you want to know how I would book movie 3, since again, we don't have any trailers for it, show me that you like this concept and we can make a series out of this. Who knows? If we can get 20 likes, I will post the next episode early. So yeah, that's how I would technically book movie 2. This is how I would book the SCU right now. What do you guys think? Are you excited for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 coming out on April? What do you expect to happen? Leave it down in the comments below and be sure you to like and subscribe. So I know that if you want to make this a little series on the channel. This is OneGamer54, signing off.